Hi folks, Tim here from Hi A and Cheap Deck. We're gonna go over a couple of things uh, about two recent Xiaomi phones I've owned. Uh, the Redmi Note 8, which I yeah, I really wanted to keep that phone, but it was so incredibly bad I gave it away. I really feel sorry for giving it away. <laughs> because the poor bastard got stuck with it. He got a beautiful phone with an in-screen fingerprint reader on the back. And that, that was why it was going to become my daily driver. And it had the same cameras as the Mi A30. Plus one, a macro lens. For some odd reason, you needed a macro. So, why I'm wearing this coat, oh, I'm gonna get it off. <laughs> By the way, this coat was the culprit in yesterday's video, uh, where the Me Too wasn't quite as loud as the Me Three. Uh, you know, I normally keep a uh, uh, bathroom tissue. Pockets on my coat, and I forgot to take it out the last time I washed it, so the whole house ended up covering these little bits of lint. And it wasn't until after I shot the video edited 14 times that I discovered, uh oh, and it's like too late. I don't care, it was just too late, trust me. The microphones are almost identical. Both of them could use a little boosting when you, uh, you know, use them in a situation like this. And none of them have the loudness or clarity level that this thing does. Um, so, all that aside, we're going to go over how and why both of those last two um, <sighs> Xiaomi phones, the Redmi Note 8 and the uh, Mi A3 here are software-wise junk and how And why I believe that some of the hardware they're using on both of them is junk. And I'll tell you that after the intro. Otherwise, we'd be filming on the Mi 3, by the way. Better camera on me. But it has its downsides. We'll go over all the reasons I cannot. I mean, I can recommend the cameras on here. They're stellar. They're fantastic. I don't know what I just did. Uh, but if you uh, were to uh, buy a phone just for the cameras, this one is just as good as the Note 8. But if you want similar cameras with not an in-screen fingerprint, let me get to that. Let's do the intro. We'll talk after that. I want to tell you all the reasons why these last two phones, in my opinion, I have no proof of this, but in my opinion, why they're junk and what Xiaomi is doing to us. Right after the intro. Okay, so today we're going to explain how Xiaomi took what was a almost perfectly adequate phone when I got it, made some bad choices, you know, in-screen fingerprint reader, totally a gimmick, um, and also put a software update that they said they had to do before putting out. Android 10, and guess what we get now? 
Oh, look, pretty wallpaper. Oh, oh, but, uh, oh, ah, what's going on there? I don't know, because, uh, and let's just go and have Google. What? Yeah. Uh, I must fix this. It does rotate to. Ooh, here. Air tight. Uh, oh, it's rotated. And if I turn it, oh, it rotates back. The front screen? No. Boo, oh, that's not. No, that's not normal. That's garbage. You screwed up on the software. Step one. Step two. You put a candy ass stupid. I don't care how many tech reviewers think these are cool. Every one of them is an idiot for promoting. There isn't much else to promote on a flagship that's already at least $500 overpriced. So. They do. So if you were to get one of these, it was actually finally working software-wise. You better buy like a thousand of these. Uh, uh, alcohol wipes. If you clean the fingerprint reader, it'll now work like eight out of ten times. You know, versus uh, 100, 100 times in the Mini 2. They're using bend parts, and I shall explain what those are. A bend part is they buy these, they don't make all their own pieces parts. They buy these parts from other companies and solder them to their boards. You slide the micro SD in there. There's a reader. There's also the SIM card reader. <sighs> when you buy bend parts, what you're getting is the manufacturer of said bend parts has some stringent testing. They may run it, I don't know, 25 times if there's a single failure. Goes in the bin. It's not up to snuff and twice as tough. And they sell those for a quarter of the price or a tenth of the price. You just grab a handle and take them back to the factory. And that, I don't have any proof of this, but I can guarantee it. Read me no day, it was the same way. Micro SD card is slow. Slow? Slow my ass to 100 megabits a second. We need 80 megabits a second, right? It ain't slow. And every time I boot it, SD card missing. It's not missing when you get booted. You know? You know, let's do this. Uh, uh oh. Oh, look. The ass rotated. Should be. Uh, oh my God. SD card. Uh, as a matter of fact, the SD card is showing us 55 gig free of 59. So you tell me. And uh, also, put a half S version of it. One on here, I got the pill gestures. I'm okay with those. I can live with them. But I wanted the nav gestures, you know, so the old nav bar. You're using up that whole same line. What's the difference? On any other, oh, when you type in the word, navigation or gestures. And you can change that. Here it goes, no phone. Well then, there's not a full version of Android 9, 9 here. 
don't lie to me. So you half-assed the version of Android 9. You half-assed the update. You haven't got Android 10 out yet. And then if you go into AirDroid to your PC, there's a folder in there called MeUI. I am willing to bet $50,000 that that is not a file that belongs inside of pure Google, which is what you're paying for. None of the bloatware, none of the crap, updates on time, not months and months and months and months down the road. There are security updates today. I'm finally up to March. Yay, I'm okay with that. Although I was a little hesitant on clicking on it. And uh, a big shout out here to at and I was getting a little worried about my storage or my web use. Since I do hotspot, you know, the camera over the PC or, and all that stuff. Yeah, well, guess what? They gave everyone 10 gig promotional storage. So if you add that to what I had left before this whole video started, about 12 gig on hand. So we're not as tight. So we'll probably upload this from home. No, it's not coming up in 1080. It's going to go up in 720. No one's going to. Up yours. Uh, I mean, yesterday I put out in 1080. And that's all I have. If you found this useful, informative. And what I am going to say, don't buy this phone until I get back and say, with a final review and go, well, they finally got their heads out of their ass and it's working. And if you can deal with, yeah, clean the fingerprint reader every day. But who knows? Maybe my friend Mike that I sent a note A2. He will do one of two things. Send a hitman to kill me, because it will be so frustrating. Or, perhaps, get a MIUI system update that has all the stuff in it. Not like, oh, just, uh, is that all you got is? It's like, like 60% of it. Yeah, great. That's what they sent. On that one, you got the nav bar. Couldn't get, you know, the traditional buttons. Couldn't get to any place you could change it. You could not format a card is internal, unacceptable, totally unacceptable. <clears throat> the reason you buy a phone micro SD expansion. So right now I'm telling everyone, buy that damn P30 from Huawei. One thing I can guarantee you about Huawei, all the hardware is in the house. And if they have to throw out shit, they don't care. It's going to be right in the house. Absolutely the same cameras as the Mi 3 I believe. And it's 212, which is roughly about what I have. A little over what I paid. But I just did a review on, I'm not a review, but yeah, items I'd recommend. Oh, it has the, yeah, the all important. Headphone jack. There we go. And a great display. And it comes with 128 gig of storage. So you won't even care about expanding it. For the average budget, and, and, and to be honest, for the average budget user, you're never going to notice 
the 64 gig. You can take shots of your grandkids and your neighborhood and your friends and local birthday party all day long and probably not ever burned up. But my God, don't shoot a 30 minute video and hope to put it on Facebook. Because you're going to grind to a heart on this space. And now you have to become that disc manager like I am with the Mi A2 here. And, of course, the reason I got the Mi A3 and the Redmi Note at the same time, hoping it would be just as good as the Mi A3, was... Hey, I will have micro SE expansion. So on that note, uh, I forgot the other day, give us a like, read the whole damn description below. If somebody was to buy any of those links, I'm like 40 cents away. I'm actually getting paid this month. You have to hit $25. And then I could buy something on Amazon, even though I'm broke. And uh, that's how we get paid with those links. I don't give you cash. You'll get gift cards. So you have to come back and shop from them. I'm okay. I got Prime. Ah. <sighs> So that's the second way to help us. Give us a little, you know, like, and then yeah, the links. Read all the description. Perhaps give us a donation. A dollar here, a dollar there. Who knows? Subscribe. And click the bell. And make damn sure you share this with Everyone you know, after you leave feedback in the comments below, all those boost the video so more people watch it. And subscribers are totally welcome all the time. If you've done that, you don't need to do anything else. Uh, well, sharing would be always super D. Duper nice. So, that's all I have for today. And this has gone way over. What a shit. Have a great night.